All right, so now that we have Angular set up on the client side, we're going to go ahead and start to work with our components and also the UI. So let's open up our editor and I'm going to go into client and then app and app component TS. All right, and what I want to do here is I don't want to use a, a template in this file. I want to use a separate file. So we're going to say template URL and then change this to app.component.html. Now, in order to use that path, we're going to have to do module ID and set this to module.id. All right, and then we'll save that. And now let's create that file, app.component.html. And we'll just say main app, save it. All right, now we're going to have to compile the TypeScript again. So I'm going to open up the command line that I have in the client and I'm going to say npm run tscw and then it's going to constantly, it should stay in watch mode. I'm not sure why it's not, um, but that's all right. We'll just have to compile it as we go. Now we're going to create our to do's component. So in the app folder, we'll have a folder called components. Now, since we're only going to have the one to do's component, I'm not going to give it its own folder. We're just going to create the file right here called to do's .ts. Let's also create the HTML file. Component.html. And let's copy what we have in the app component TS file and paste it in the to do's. And let's change the selector to to do's. We'll change the file name and the component name. Okay, and then we're going to go into the to do's component HTML and we're just going to add our markup. So let's create a div, give it a class of add to do, add to do form, and also text center. So basically, we're just going to have a form up at the top and then the list underneath. Okay, it's going to be a single page application. We'll put an h1. And let's put a form group class. All right, let's put an input with a class of form control. And let's see, we also input LG. And we'll give it a placeholder of add to do. And let's say autofocus. And we're also going to give it an ID, or uh, we're just going to say uh, number sign to do text. All right, and then we'll end that. Let's put a line break here and then a button. Okay, button will have a class of BTN and BTN primary and BTN block. Okay, these are all bootstrap classes. All right, so that's the top part. Now under it will be the list. So let's do a div with the class of to do list. Okay, and in here, let's do, uh, let's see, we're going to have a one column div and it'll have a checkbox and then we'll have a seven column div, which will have the to do name and then a four column div with the buttons. All right, so let's go ahead and put div class call MD one. All right, and I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and this one will be 
seven, and then this one will be four. All right, so in the one, let's put a, a checkbox, which will be an input with the type of checkbox. And we'll put in here some to do. Okay, because we're not actually fetching them yet. This is just the UI. And then in here, we're going to have a couple buttons. I'm actually going to give this a class of BTNS as well. And then let's do input type equals button give it a class of btn danger and btn and then i also want these i want it to float to the right so we're going to give it a class of pull right all right and let's give it a value of delete all right and then i'm going to copy that and then we want the edit button. So we're going to change button danger to button default and the value to edit. All right, let's go ahead and save that. All right, we're going to have to compile it. So let's go back to our client prompt and just say npm run TSC. Okay. And that should compile. Uh, oh, we didn't add the component yet. So we need to do that. So let's go to app.module.ts. And we're going to have to import it here. So we'll say import to do's component. And that'll be from the components folder. slash to do to do's dot component and we're going to add it to declarations okay and now let's go into our app component html and i want to have a nav bar here so i'm going to go to get bootstrap getting started examples and then the starter template. All right, and then we'll just grab from the source code. We'll grab nav. And let's get this container as well. So we'll copy that, paste that in here. And let's see, we're going to get rid of the nav bar fix top class. And then project name, we'll say mean to do's. And let's get rid of these li tags here. We don't need those. And in the container, I'm going to change the starter template class to row. And let's get rid of this. And then inside the row, we'll have a div. Give it a class of call md8. So it'll be eight columns, but I want to push it over too. So we're going to add an offset class. So md offset to all right and then we'll put our to do's component right in there save it and let's see to do's is not a known element let's see Okay, we have our selector here. Um, all right, so instead of running npm run TSC, I just ran npm start. And let's go back to localhost 3000. And there we go. All right. So we ran npm start, and now that'll watch it. Uh, because for some reason, the TSC-W isn't, isn't watching it. It's not keeping it going. And I don't want to have to keep compiling it. So we just ran npm start from the client. So we now have our interface. We have our input. We have the create button. And then we have our list.
All right, now in the next video, we're going to start to work with the API and we're going to fetch the to-dos from the database and display them in our application.